Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day in the bay. And today, I'm eating and talking, y'all. Soul Tread. Y'all see that fried corn? Look at that. And fried chicken. French fries. And scrimp. With none other than some hot sauce. You know what I'm saying? Some tea. And some water. Today we just gonna ch eat and chat. Yeah, they go to B. Just like I said the last time. B don't come out until it's time to eat. But get out of here, B. Get out of here, B. Get your butt out of here, B. Look like I'm gonna have a fight on my hand. Oh, and my stillers. Yeah, we look bad right now, but I ain't, I ain't never giving up. So folks, let's talk life today, man. So I was watching this, uh, this uh, YouTube channel with this girl and this guy I was going to meet his father for dinner in Kentucky, Owensboro, Kentucky. Can't make this stuff up, y'all. Hey, Amen. Can't make this stuff up, y'all. I'm telling y'all, man. You ain't got to teach the kids to be badasses, but teach them to under to learn how to protect themselves and to defend themselves. Well, anyway, the story goes like this. Uh, I was going to meet the father at a restaurant and the guy didn't know exactly where the restaurant was when he got off the exit he didn't realize that the exit was I mean the uh, restaurant was right off the exit so I guess in, in order for him to make the turn he cut off a guy so I guess the guy got mad. Lays on his horn. Starts calling him all kind of M words and challenging him to fights. Now I can see you're not wanting to fight. You know, hey man, I apologize, whatever. You know, I didn't mean to cut you off. I didn't know where I was going. But this guy, he was so aggressive. When they get into the restaurant parking lot, the guy gets out of his car, comes up to their car, opens the door, talking shit, still calling them all kind of M words, and and uh, spits on him. Now he already crossed the line when he called him all kind of M words. He crossed another line when he opened his door. Then he crosses another line when he spit on him, spit on the guy. The guy calls his father, and the, the guy and the girl calls his father, tell him, "Come outside. I'm scared. I don't know what to do, man. What you? Wait a minute. You're a grown man. What are you scared of?" You know, so anyway, they, 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 uh, call the law, excuse me, y'all, I'm fighting off this B. Uh, they call the law. The law tells them, oh, that's a civil matter. Ain't nothing we can do about that. So, after they take it to the, to the to social media and points it out you know here we are Owensboro Kentucky I never heard of this place but uh, but 
they, uh, after I take the social media and blast the police department on social media for not doing anything about it, then they go and arrest the guy for assault. You know. You know, I don't know if they charge him with a hate crime or not. But you guys can look it up. Check it out. Man. Teach your kids to fight back. I don't care what color someone is. It don't matter. You know, you don't sit there and keep taking shit off of people. I had to cuss on that because now you can't keep taking shit off of people. Like it's okay. You know what I'm saying? With you know, I just hey, man, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna do it. It's corn is it? Oh man, it's corn good. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all forgive me, I forgot my napkins in the house, but if I go in there, then B's gonna tear me up. Still all my food. Fried shrimp. Bomb. So this come from those of you. Man, I can't wait to get this B. For those of y'all that's local, you know it. Soul Train in Vallejo. Sit right on the corner of Nebraska and Broadway. Good damn, man. Yeah, man. We 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 gotta gotta teach our kids. To stand up. I'm not saying that good, the guy didn't teach his son, but there's just no way in the world his son should have let that guy, you know, open his door for one and spit on him and, and get away with it, you know. I know we always say we don't want to be the, the angry black man because, you know, police do treat us bad. You know, everybody know that. As soon as we, we defend ourselves, we, we are aggressive or, you know, but in this case, they had it all on camera. I would have, I would have had to defend myself by any means necessary. Just can't allow that to happen, man. What's wrong with the world, man? You know? We kind of we, we we so scared to defend ourselves nowadays. That's crazy. No man, no woman of any creed or color should never be afraid to defend themselves. I ain't saying that you're gonna win the fight, but you damn sure gonna let a motherfucker know that. You ain't the one to be ran over. You're gonna you gonna protect yourself. You and, and you had, you know, what I'm saying? Man, had your girl got one of them. I think I got him. Uh, you had your girl with you, man. What you? You know? <laughs> yeah, I know black women. <laughs> Soon as she get mad at him. She gonna throw that up in his face. Oh, you ain't scared of that. I mean, you were scared of that dude, but you ain't, you know, yeah. Hmm. Y'all know it's gonna come up. You know? But you wanna act bad for me? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Man. Hey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The bees is out in full effect today, y'all. Full effect. They don't want me to go on and land. Go on and land. 
Just land. I'm telling you, just land. Land on something that's going to be on. <laughs> I'm sitting back here talking to the camera. Talking to the YouTube world. And get out of here. And the bees won't, the bees won't take all my conversation. They got to get their own camera. Oh man, it's corn. Oh man, that, that corn is good. Piece, piece of that. A chicken bomb, though. Them shrimp, though. I done threw some chicken over there for the bees to land on and eat. Every time I show y'all a piece of food, <laughs> they want to land on it. Food is good, y'all. I love it. Love it. Man, it's fall. I'm hoping we get some rain here in California. They got more rain in the desert <clears throat> this year. And we haven't gotten the past two or three years. It's sad. Yeah. They say it never rained in Southern California. They even got more rain than us. We way up north. We can't buy a drop of precipitation. <laughs> hey, I love this beautiful weather, but man, come on now. We need some water around here. Hey, y'all hit me up in the comments and let me know. Flats or drumsticks? I like drumsticks myself. Oh, I love to eat so much, it don't matter what, excuse me, what, what's on the plate. If it ain't no flats, I eat drumsticks. If it ain't no drumsticks, I eat flats. Mmm. Y'all excuse me, man. This is good stuff, though. Mmm, mmm. Ain't gonna be nothing here but a chicken graveyard left. Again. <clears throat> what y'all think about the vaccine? You know, a lot of people running around here talking about well, they ain't got no real excuse for not taking the vaccine other than they don't know what's in it. We don't know what's in the food we eat every day, but we eat it. And you eat that every day. You only take the vaccine once or twice. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, I'm not one to care if you do or you don't. It don't matter to me one way or another. It's your life, your body, whatever. But, I have to say that I agree that I don't want to put nobody else's life in jeopardy. And believe it or not, everybody's going to get the virus at one time or another. The vaccination is to prevent you from being in a hospital on a ventilator. It's not to prevent you from getting it. It ain't going to stop you from getting it. taking up hospital beds. Sad story about the man in Alabama. Had a heart attack. Couldn't find an ICU bed. Had to send him two states over just for him to get an ICU bed. And he died. Now, we can't say if he was going to die or not. But how he had a hospital bed, chances are likely he would have probably survived. But he didn't because all the ICU beds were taken with COVID patients. Those COVID patients, anti-vaxxers or whatever y'all want to call them, those guys are now clinging on, clinging on life, begging for a vaccine. I mean, I heard this one dude on Instagram the other day talking that old anti-vax stuff and telling people, oh, well, you know, I'm not telling you not to get it, and I'm not telling you to get it, but I'm just saying, what good is it? And, okay, if you don't have an opinion on it. One way or another, why are you why are you on Instagram spreading non facts? You know what I'm saying? So I uh I just had to tell him. I mean, you don't know how silly you sound talking about he had it. And he survived. People get in their car and die. But I got in my car and haven't died. What kind of comparison is that? I was like, man, you sound stupid. But I don't understand how people keep making this a, a left or a right thing. I heard some guys say in one town, if they see people with masks on, they automatically identify them with Democrats. Man. <laughs> Boy, if that ain't the dumbest stuff I heard. Because there's plenty of Republicans that wear masks. There's plenty of Republicans that have gotten the shot. There's plenty of Democrats that don't wear masks. There's plenty of Democrats that haven't gotten the shot. <laughs> Just ignorance shouldn't be an excuse. You know. So don't be ignorant. Now, a lot of people might get offended by that. But don't be ignorant. You know, every time you try to teach somebody something, teach them with science. You know what I'm saying? Don't teach them with your homemade science, you know. But but you use you use your Instagram as a platform to make people think you're a scientist. Hmm. This is a chicken in a corn on the cob graveyard I got left here. I'm going here after I eat. Probably pay me some call of duty. I don't know. Till about 5.30. Take me some dominoes out there today. Talk a whole lot of smack. 
I am a still a fan till I D-I-E. So, with that being said, uh, folks, I'm out. I said I hustle in my body, so I get it up every day.